have been in a different year, but we still were able to do some really big things. We stayed committed to what Westwood is and who we are. Uh, and I'd like to think that we persevered through it. And it's really a lot to thank all of you. I know that many of you are doing online learning, quarantine learning, flex day learning. Uh, and we always say we want to partner with our parents, but I think this year we took that to a whole um, new level. Uh, so I just want to say thank you. Um, Teacher Appreciation Week could not have been any more special this year, and that's because of all of you. And so I just want to thank you for that. Um, and then just on another note, I just wanted to share that, you know, this was a school year that I felt like would never begin. I don't know about you, but I felt like it was never going to start. Uh, we got going, and all of seemed to really creep by when we were in that medium spread, which we don't talk about anymore. Um, but uh, we got to today, and I could not be more proud of a school year. And so when our district said we could have you know, we could try to do awards days in person. For me, that was a must. And I was so thankful that Williamson County allowed us to do that because we were committed to figuring out any way to really praise not only our students, but our families because it was just such a tremendous year. So I just wanna say thank you. I want you to know this is a special event for our boys and girls. Feel free to cheer for them uh, as they are getting their completion certificates in just a moment. Uh, and then we're going to go through our special awards. And at the end, I don't think there's going to be a dry eye in the house because I already had a preview of it. And they're going to sing to you. Um, and then we'll have a nice another picture slideshow. Our kids always love that. So, all right. Without further ado, I'm going to be introducing Miss Nina Graham to uh, introduce her students. Bentley Burleson. <laughs> Izzy Gilchrist. Reed Gillespie. John Thomas Glass. Heidi Grubb.
and this is Mrs. Jones' class. Hello. Okay, first we have Trinity Adcock, Brittany Bateman, Judah Barnes, Caden Pritchfield, Dalen Davis, Talon Floyd, James Francis, job guys so impressive we also want to recognize our uh, fourth grade students who are learning online this year we had Graham Hargrove Caden Moore and Marilyn Johnson so super proud of them going to be led by our top Tigers this year. They could come down. Uh, Erilyn Varden, Zoe Wakefield, Scarlett Bass, Emmett Sutton, Breely Bateman, Ben McCormick, Gabe Sharp, Annie Aniston Tapia, and Leo Bates. If you'll come down and help me, we're going to do the Pledge of Allegiance. So y'all come right here to me. Come together to school that y'all come back right here. Come on, Leo. Come to me. All right. Y'all are the best. Perfect. All right, you ready? Ready? All right, ready? Uh,
your seats. Thank you so much. At this time, you may be seated. Ms. Christy Heitch is coming up to introduce our academic awards for reading. Graham's class, we have Arlen Barden and Audra Rood. In Ms. Heitch's class, Ian Parks and Scarlett Bass. In Ms. Jones's class, Jace Francis and Breely Bateman. And in Ms. McDonald's class, Abby Anderson and Jack Floyd. All right, up next is Ms. Graham with the Math Award. Levi Stewart and Addie Grubb. <laughs> Ms. Heitch's class, Taylor Johnson and Joey Wakefield. <laughs> Ms. Jones's class, Talon Floyd and Tyler Winkler. Miss McDonald's class, Lainey Fry and Ian Bowers. So, for Miss Graham's class, we have Riley Moore and Izzy Gilchrist. For Miss Heitch, we have Hank Cox and Keaton Richardson. For Miss Jones's class, we have Tatum Furline and Kelsey Hammond. class we have Sage Davis and Asher Elder. between what they were reading in ELA and what we were learning in social studies. So it was pretty neat. Um, here are the kiddos who are uh, receiving awards for social studies. In Ms. Graham's class, Brayson Hughes and Colin Cola. In 
in Miss Heitch's room, Archer Oliphant and Joya Jones. In Miss Jones's class, Caden Critchfield and Aaliyah Irvin. And in Miss McDonald's class, Emma Veda and Brooks Brown. students who were definitely trailblazers this year. This award is actually called the Trailblazer Award. They've done something that we could never imagine and they've done it very, very well. Um, so we want to recognize Houston Hargrove, Marilyn Johnson, and Caden Martin. Let's give all of them a good hand. <laughs> the classes that our students sometimes most uh, look forward to are our related arts classes. We are very fortunate that we have uh, been able to have PE in our gym all year this year very safely. And then we've recently been able to go back to the classrooms for music and art and library. And so we're super proud of that and our related arts teachers are very excited to present the related arts awards. For art, Adam McCormick and Zoe Wakefield. For the library, Riley Moore and Kaylee Seals. For music, Spencer Vaughn and Kelsey Hammond. And for PE, Cy LaRond and Joya Jones. Everybody get that perfect picture. Students just pause and smile under those masks. Perfect, you may return to your seats, thank you. And now for our Citizenship Awards for Outstanding Behavior. From Ms. Graham's class, Cody Jenkins and Annabelle Veach. From Ms. Heitch's room, Nathaniel Serino and Emmy Strachan. Jones class, Emmett Seton and Delaney Ladd. And for Miss McDonald's class, Alicia Carrick and Colton Prelop. Colton was not able to be with us today, so we congratulate Colton. Students pause and smile and hold up your certificates for those pictures. Okay, you may return to your seats. Thank you. This next award, it is really saying something to say that you've been able to have perfect attendance during a year like we've had this year. And so this is quite an accomplishment for these three students. Uh, these students have had no tardies, no early dismissals and no absences during this year. So congratulations in advance. We would like to recognize Elijah Middleton, Caden Martin, and Houston Hargrove.
students is an online student, so we will definitely uh, make sure that Houston gets his award. Our Tiger Team, um, we actually started Tiger Team a couple of years ago. This is um, also known as Student Council. You may be familiar with that. Um, but these are our Tiger Team members, and they are great leaders in our um, school, in our community. One of the things uh, this year that I remember most, one of the service projects that they took part in uh, was a food drive. Somebody help me. How many pounds of food did we collect? 3,500 pounds of food that we were able to uh, donate and share with our community, and we are so very proud of that. Uh, they've done many, many more things um, this year and, and in your last year as well, and, but we do want them to uh, come forward. We have a certificate for them as well. Adam McCormick. <laughs> ben McCormick. Aniston Tapia, Tyler Winkle, Cassidy Welker, Lainey Fry, Abby Anderson, Eli Middleton, <laughs> Zoe Wakefield, <laughs> and Scarlett Bass. Our Tiger team is made up of fourth and fifth graders, and we will honor our fifth graders later at their award ceremony, but another round of applause for our student leaders on Tiger team. We're going to pause and smile for a picture. I think we got it. Great job, guys. This time, Ms. Hunt will present our Accelerated Reader Award. I love an AR award. There's few things that still go on in elementary school that went on when I was in elementary school, so it just makes me feel a little younger if <laughs> we're still doing those things. Um, no, we're going to be giving out our top AR points. It makes me excited. I know our kids get excited about reading, and um, we've had a fun time with our AR parades, doing those outside. That's one thing. We've done a few things during this year that... We're going to continue to do, and one of those is some outdoor parades because they're super fun. Um, so we're super excited to give out our top AR points, and we have beautiful trophies that Miss Lankford has here that she will hand out, and those go to top AR points, Tyler Winkle, <laughs> and Noah Prelock. Tyler's almost as tall as me. She was principal for the day a few years ago with me, and now I feel like she could just step right in. All right. Thank you so much, guys. All right. We have a typing Olympics. We do all kinds of fun things around here. One of those things is typing. Typing Olympics. Super proud Mr. Beer hosted that this year for us. Uh, and so we've got some students. It's a, it's a program that they do throughout multiple grade levels. Um, so we, you'll notice there'll be a couple people, you will be like, well, who got that medal? But um, for fourth grade, we had st two students place. And Ian Parks is our gold medal winner. Come out, Ian. With 48 words per minute. And Myra Kate Williams. per minute. And that's something else that's still going on is typing skills. I did that. I remember that. Hold your certificate up and look just in case. I'm that mom that takes the picture so I get it. Okay, you can go to your seat now. Thank you.
We are busy at Westwood. We got all kinds of events. We got chorus next. And so what I would love to happen is you to stand up, and you don't have to come forward, just stand up where you are when I call your name. Ashes El Asher Elder, Addison Grubb, Kelsey Hammond, Joya Jones, remain standing, Adam McCormick, Ben McCormick, Colton Prelock, Noah Prelock, Mason Richardson, Zoe Wakefield, and Myra K. Williams. This is the amazing Westwood Chorus of fourth grade. I like that. Now, can you stay standing? You can go ahead and have a seat, then I'm gonna have somebody stand back up. So go ahead and have a seat. We also have some students who have been doing chorus now for two years, both third and fourth grade. If these students will please stand. Joya Jones, Ben McCormick, Adam McCormick, Noah Prelock, Mason Richardson, Zoe Wakefield, and Myra K. Williams. Two years in chorus. We hope to make it three years in chorus next year. So thank you so much, boys and girls. Appreciate your hard work. Go ahead and have a seat. Last year, we were able to add a dance team at Westwood, and I was so excited. I don't know how many of you remember being at Fairview High School back in January, probably one of the last times we were all in a huge group together. Uh, and it was a halftime show, and Westwood brought around 80 girls, I think. And I had goosebumps, and I was just so proud. Girls and boys. And they just did an incredible job. It was so much fun to watch. And our dance team has been something that we are really proud of and we look forward to continuing here at Westwood. It's led by Stacy Osmond and Donna Bass and they just do a tremendous job. Uh, so if these folks could please stand and remain standing. Scarlett Bass, Breely Bateman, Sage Davis, Kelsey Hammond, Adam McCormick, Ben McCormick, Noah Prelock, Audrey Rude, Gamelia Shaw, Zoe Wakefield, Myra Kate Williams, and Cassidy Welker. Let's give our dance team members a round of applause. And I don't know how many of you came for tent or treat, but if you saw two boys dancing, I guarantee you it was Ben and Adam McCormick, because they were rocking it at tent or treat. So, just a fond memory of mine. See? Yep. All right. You can have a seat, guys. All right. Top Tiger Awards are always one of my favorite things about that we do here at Westwood. And that's where we honor our boys and girls just for tremendous growth and setting a good example for others. Uh, and so, boys and girls, I want you to remind me of our school rules. Ready? Be respectful. Good job. Those aren't just school rules. Those are rules that we hope, those are things we hope that they will take with them throughout their lives. And so at this time, it's my honor and pleasure to announce that our two top Tigers for the grade level, they did two, it's usually one, but there's so many to choose from. So many great students, they chose two. And they are Aniston Tapia, come on down. <laughs> so Aniston at the softball field last night. Congratulations. And Leo Bates. Leo's had an amazing year this year. So proud of him. Come on down, Leo. Great job. Let's give these two boys and girls a round of applause. We're so proud. Good picture. Thank you, guys. Great job. Oh, one more. Hold on, Leo. One more. Oh, she got it. We're good. You're good. Thank you, Leo. Got Anson, too. Here we go. All right. At awards day, we give out a principal's award and an assistant principal's award. Miss Langford and I, we just have a hard time picking one. Uh, I did narrow it down to two. I think Miss Langford's got a couple more than that, but just two really great students. I've had the, the amazing opportunity to be at Westwood now for three years, and I feel like I'm getting to know you all as families and our students even more. It just makes it even more extra special. Uh, but these two students I've just seen grow and um, really make amazing contributions to our school, our school climate, it, its environment. They're just so kind of friends, always making me laugh, just being a really good support. 
So I want to recognize these two students. Miss Langford, I think you've got the plaques there. Judah Barnes, if you'll come on down. <laughs> Judah's always willing to do the right thing. He's always doing the right thing. So proud of him. And another friend, he and I got to be real close my first year and each and every year after that. Draws some amazing pictures. Loves a flag and has a great smile. His name is Roman Titus. I know their moms are here, so we all come on up and get a picture. I spotted them before we started. <laughs> all right, boys, thank you. Super proud of them. All right, Miss Langford, you come on down. Ms. Hunt mentioned friendship and hard work and perseverance and just um, contributions to Westwood. And these four students um, just exemplify all of those things. I would like to award the Assistant Principals Awards this year to Gabe Sharp, Austin Skinner, Contrell Walker, and Colt Wilder. Super proud of these boys and girls. So let's give them one more final round of applause. For the amazing year, great hard work. You saw kids. And at this time, I'm going to turn this over to our fourth grade teachers. I think they have a sweet treat for you all. Uh, they've been working hard to do a nice little performance for you. So we'll turn it over to our fourth grade teachers. Okay, I apologize in advance if you hear my uh, singing voice, but uh, we're gonna, we have a special song for you all. So. You guys will go ahead and stand up. <laughs> 